Ya ti ahí todo el zona. Ya. Hello guys, welcome to my vlog. Please subscribe my channel. Ito si ano, Idol Kennedy Alright Ito naman si ano, Idol Carlos Andon si Ninang Ninang Florentina Ito, nakumuha kami ng Aragan Dito yung isang facilitator Si Ma'am Victa Ah, si Pia Jani na ang Maylin! Oh, si Jason! Okay! Si... Ninang Demi! At saka si... Oh, shout out kay Sir Ernie Dito dito pa yan Tabarea Bakadena, okay Oh, hindi tayo yung isang edit, hindi nang mag-single Farmer Sa aming mga taga-subaybay Ano rin po lang ninyo yung mga nagpukuha ng Sibu Nagagawin po namin yung mga ako Ay, isa! Okay guys, pagi palo, pagi palo. Oh yang di sini yang ano, yes namen si Mami Erlin. Say hi, mami. My loves, my loves. Mami, nala. Lagut, aku ni kamu, aku ni kamu. Ya, aku ni kamu. Mister, mira wajib Mister, Mister Zagat. Oh, mira sob dana, eh mira sob dade, Mister Ragan, from Sisim Kapugao. After that short escape from a tiring day, the next day is the day that we're gonna be fermenting those gathered sargassum. How to make fermented seaweed fertilizer? The following are the materials needed. First, we have weighing scale, beaker, sargassum with its scientific name sargassum vulgare, kitchen knives, chopping board, clean and dry containers, molasses, clean and dry basin, and weighing plate. Prepare at least 10 kilograms of sargassum. 
The measuring procedure is set to limit of at least 2 kg which will be repeated 5 times. Because the scale is too small to measure the required amount of sargassum at one time. Remove the debris incorporated in the sargassum. Seaweed extract is naturally beneficial in our ecosystem as it helps improve soil structure, improves moisture retention, improves plant growth and development, and increases soil porosity. Next, chop up sargassum into pieces. This helps quicken fermentation. This is the outcome of chopped sargassum. The weight may vary once the sargassum is being chopped and cleaned. Let's get some more to attain the required amount of sargassum. We need another 1 kg of sargassum. Once we achieved the 2 kg of sargassum, repeat this for 5 times until we accumulate 10 kg of sargassum. Place 10 kg of sargassum in a clean and dry container and mix them gently. Then add some 1.75 kg of molasses. Pour out 1.75 kg of molasses into the basin. Mix it well. Squeeze to release its juice. Next, add 2 liters of water. As possible, drive away the flies to avoid contamination and spoilage of your ferment. Make sure that the container to be used for fermenting is dry and clean. Then, pour out all the mixed ingredients in one large container. This will serve as your fermenting drum. Write the name of your fermented concoction, the date of processing, and the date of harvesting. The fermenting process is in anaerobic condition, so cover the top with manila paper or clean cloth. Allow to ferment for one month or until the solids become liquefied. What to prepare? We have PPEs, strainer, surgical gloves, 
basin, funnel, and plastic bottles. Disclaimer, this is the recent output of trainees who have conducted their training before us. Strain the fermented sargasso until dripping stops. Then place the squeezed fermented sargassum in a basin. And don't forget to label your bottle. There you have it! You can now use your own potent fertilizer. You can now mix 10 tablespoons of a foliar fertilizer in a 16 liter knapsack sprayer and start spraying your garden crops naturally. I hope you guys learned something from this vlog. So do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to keep you updated as always. This is all for now and I'll see you in my next vlogs. Bye for now!